This is the GP350 miter saw manufactured by Pegic in Italy. The saw is especially used for sewing the pieces of the frame. Turn on the saw with this green button and turn it off with this red button. Shutdown is accelerated and lasts no more than 5 seconds. By pressing this lever you can pull the handle and the cutting block down. This is a measuring stop for the cut at 90 degrees. The measuring stop must be inserted in the groove that is above the support bar. Now I want to cut a 55 cm piece of molding at 90 degrees. I move the molding to the oblique line pointing 55. I lower the lever of the measuring stop, I lean it to the frame and I tighten the handle that locks the measuring stop. I turn on the saw, turn on the dust collector and cut. And this is the measuring stop for the cut at 45 degrees. I first cut the end of the molding at 45 degrees. Now I want to cut a piece of 36 cm. I slide the molding until it meets the oblique line of 36 cm. At this point I lean the measuring stop to the frame and I lock it in place. I move the angle lever on 45 degrees. I make the cut. Sometimes it can be useful to apply a second 45 degrees measuring stop to save time when you must set the size of the long side and the short side of the frame. If you need to set the cutting angle, you must first unlock this handle by rotating it clockwise or counterclockwise. You can set certain standard angles. Starting from zero, the first standard setting is 15 degrees, that is used for 12-sided frames. Then you find the 22-30 degrees angle for octagonal frames. Then the 30 degrees angle for hexagonal frames. Finally, the 45 degrees for normal frames. The same angles on the left. Now I want a non-standard angle, for example a 35 degrees angle. I rotate the handle until it reaches 35 degrees. Now I lock the cutting table into position by screwing the black knob. The blade guard is made of this metal cover that guarantees more safety than the plastic protection used by other sews. When lowering the blade, the guard gradually disappears to allow the cut. The molding support increases the length of the table, bringing it to 152 cm from the center. These are the molding supports. They are 110 cm long. The molding supports must be applied to the sole body in this way. To secure the table, use the bolt that you must screw onto the proper plate. To better fasten the table to the sew, screw the small bolt that is inside this hole. The saw is equipped with an electrical power outlet. To apply the wire to the current, you can contact an electrician or do it yourself. Let's see how.
you can see three wires of different color, blue, brown and yellow. The socket is made of two thin poles and one larger. The yellow wire must be connected to the large pole, while the two others must be connected to the thin poles, no matter which one. This is the base, seen from the front and from behind. Inside the base you will find the motor that has a power output of 1,1 kW and 2 A, the dust collector tube with an 80 mm diameter and 110 cm length, the two cable ties that you use to secure the tube at both ends. The tube will be connected to the hole that is in the back of the sole. Two 14 cm bolts for securing the sole to the base. The compliance sheet. The base instruction manual. The motor technical manual. A power outlet identical to that one of the sole to connect the motor of the dust collector to the current. the off-cut bag and the cable tie for securing the bag to the motor. It's important to know that the base is independent of the sew and can therefore be purchased separately. The sew, in fact, could be placed on any workbench. For changing the blades, you need the two hexagonal keys that are supplied with the machine. With a screwdriver, unlock and remove this device to release the blade guard. Open the red cover from the other side of the saw. Insert the key and lift the guard. With the right hand turn the key clockwise while holding the other key with the left hand. Similar operation on the left side. At this point I remove the flange and the bolt. I pull out the blade. Now I make the reverse operation. Insert the blade so that the central hole is positioned exactly in its seat. Insert the flange and the bolt with the washer. Then adjust the flange making sure that the raised part is facing inwards. Turn the key counterclockwise. Close the red cover. Put back in place the mechanism that operates the blade guard. These are the technical features of the GP350 saw. Other special features of the saw are the two black pistons that are used to balance the weight so as to lighten the movements of the machine. It's important to know that the piston springs are hardened and realized with a state-of-the-art manufacturing methodology that avoids wear. In other words, the springs will never break. Here there is the transmission belt, because the machine does not work with the direct motor on the sew axis. The belt tension can be adjusted. This is the motor block that has the task of stopping the blade in less than 5 seconds. The rotating table works on special bearings that greatly facilitate sliding. The sew is guaranteed for three years as clearly shown in the plate. 
The machine is equipped also with an exhaustive manual of 34 pages with illustrations. The GP350 saw works with circular blades with a 350 mm diameter and a 30 mm hole. The blades provided by Rinaldin are particularly suitable for cutting frames. They are manufactured by Freud in 45 HRC hardness steel and have 108 alternate teeth. The airfit carvings dramatically reduce noise and vibration. The patented silver ice coating improves the sliding of the blade, lowers operating temperature and protects the blade from rust. The blade is not included in the price of the saw and has to be ordered separately. If however you order the blade together with the saw, you will receive the saw with the blade already installed and ready for use. You can apply a locking clamp to the saw. The clamps are illustrated in a separate video. These are the codes of the saw elements. You will find the GP350 saw and all accessories in the Rinaldin catalogue and on the website www.rinaldin.com